Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because we have another brand new product from Integra Coach. Today we're taking a look at the all new 2020 Integra Coach Vision XL. This one's model 34G. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you three things I love about this RV and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hi hey everyone again, my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, this is a brand new product from Integra Coach. It's the Vision XL. What I love about this product is on the food chain, as you know, I like have level one through four. This is a level 2.5. It's not full body paint and it's not aluminum slam latch doors, but you still have slam latch doors. But what's great about this motorhome, this is a really, really great price point and it sits on 22.5 inch tires. So I'm really excited to show you. But first, I would like to apologize to everybody. Uh, me, Will, and Jen went to the Hershey RV show, and I kind of had a bad attitude because none of the factory reps wanted to talk to us, and I put up a video, and a lot of you guys didn't like it, so I took it down. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, but don't worry. We're back to our normal selves. So let's get started up front. This has the nice LED uh, lights, Integra Coach. It's partial body paint, not full body paint, so this front cap and the rear piece is painted. And it does have the biggest windshield in the industry. The model is 34G, but the actual tip to tip length is 36 feet 6 inches. You do have chrome mirrors right here, and there is a camera so you can see down your left side and right side. Check out these nice Alcoa rims with the Michelin tires. Again, 22.5 inch tires, so it's going to be a great smooth drive. And you do have a little bit of storage here. Now, it is the fiberglass doors but they slam latch. It does have the Easy Drive Elite system, which is a computer balanced drive shaft system, which is gonna make this a lot smoother driving experience. I drove this uh, to the RV show this weekend, or last weekend, whatever, and uh, it drove fantastic. Over here, you do have some nice, great storage. There is LED lights right there. And I like how there's uh, no carpet in this one. Right here, you have a nice huge LED TV on the outside, Furion speakers, all right here. Also big plus, so many people mentioned this at the RV show. You see how the power plug's right there? So many manufacturers are putting it on the outside for some reason. Really, really silly. More storage there, and more storage there. This has a ton of storage. You do have, Frameless windows throughout the whole RV. And, totally forgot what I was about to say. Oh, and a huge power awning. Look how long this power awning is. Now, I'm normally not a fan of slide outs on the passenger side, because it takes away from your awning space. But I'm telling you, that has to be the biggest awning I've ever seen on a slide out. Watch your head there. Right, here's your propane tank and your batteries. And it is on a nice Morai slide out tray, just like that. And your propane tank's right here. It looks like it's about a 30 gallon propane tank. And I'll have all the specifications about this motorhome the tank sizes, fuel capacity, lengths, weights, all down in the description below. And I forgot to mention there's a propane quick connect right there for a grill. Over here, you have a little bit more storage. Wow, look at that. That passes through as well. This has a ton of exterior storage, and a lot of it has to do with it being on the big, bigger chassis. And more storage there. Around the back here, you do have a rear fiberglass cap, so it gives it a nice look. Uh, no ladder for the back. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of that. There is a 5,000 pound hitch there and you can tow a true 5,000 pounds. 
and right up there you do have a backup camera now we can't go up to the roof because there's no ladder but come on up here will will's tall enough all right right up here will and then stick your arm up and show everybody that roof so you do have a one-piece fiberglass roof, two AC units. The first AC unit's a 15K with a heat pump. The second AC unit's a 13.5. One-piece fiberglass roof, I already said that. Uh, you do have a digital antenna up there, and it is prepped for solar. But uh, we hung out with Cody this weekend. Thanks so much for buying this coal fire pizza. It was delicious, wasn't it, Will? It was. It was the best pizza I've ever had. And uh, he said that Integra Coach, they're working on putting the ladder on standard because of all our complaining. It's still an option though, right? It is an option. Well, it's not an option, but it is an option. Like, it's not an option from the factory, but you can get it put on. Okay. Right here's your water heater, six gallon DSI. Over here the other side of the storage 50 amp power with the power cord right there oh, look at that slop right here's your fuel capacity it is 80 gallons over here whoa look at that I've never seen something like this before I can't see it on the camera hold on oh. that's so weird it's not like it's a compartment I don't know if I like that or if I hate that I kind of like it Right, because it's high up, right? Like, yeah, and easy like access to get your hose in. Easy access, but yeah, because I guess you just got to go like that. Yeah. Very interesting. Interesting. I, mean, I didn't even know that. Over here is your sanitation station. Look how clean that looks. Very easy to sanitize, fill up your tanks, outdoor shower, water purifier, low point valves. Very clean and nice setup. And the way they set this up, they didn't take up the whole space. There's still more storage space. That's awesome. Over here's the other side of the storage. Right here's your Cummings Onan 5500 generator. And then right here, more storage. That's what I'm going to call this unit, more storage. Now, the outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Now, before we go inside, I can't believe I forgot to mention, because this is an Integra coach, it has a two-year warranty. Also, I saw on the new Integra coaches, follow me, Will. Come on, Will. So, new for Integra coach, they're doing this two-year limited, three-year structural warranty. So, that's going to be on all the 2020s, even though that sticker's not on that unit. Come on, Will. Best in show for 2020. We made that up. <laughs> cool. All right. So here it is. A big positive about this motorhome is how it has double slide outs. A negative is how tight it is when you're driving down the road. You see that? It's kind of a pain in the butt. But you can get back to the king size bed and you can use your bathroom. We're gonna slide this baby out. Now, right here. While we're sliding this out, I would like to ask everybody a favor. If you could, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. The more people who hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment, let me know the three things you like about this motorhome and the three things you don't like about this motorhome. I'm out of breath. The more people who comment and like this video, the more YouTube likes to promote it. And one last thing. I'm out of shape, Will. I'll try to be funny about making you run and I'm out of breath. Um, one last thing. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Jen for working her first RV show. She actually sold this unit. That's why I wanted to make this video today. 
And if you guys haven't heard, we are surprising Jen with a new MacBook. We are currently at like $1,280 of our goal for $2,000. So if you haven't heard yet, I'll have a link right there with what we're doing and how we're surprising Jen. But let's check a look, take a look at this. We'll start with the front cap. First, passenger seat. Have a computer tray right here. You know what? They, up, they updated this. This is better. a more sturdy tray, but I still don't like it. And you have power cords right there. Nice huge dash that kind of pinches down so you can see. Power driver seat, manual passenger seat. Right over here. The seat's fully adjustable like this. You have your auto leveling right here. Here's your screen. It does have Apple CarPlay. It's a Sony screen, navigation, USB, Series XM, all that good stuff right here. And yeah, this is just your Ford F53 chassis, 320 horsepower, 460 pounds of torque. You have a bunk over the cab. It does hold 750 pounds. Nope. You have to spin the chair around. Still have to spin that chair around. Mm -mm -mm. It's all good though. This bunk holds 750 pounds. You would have thought they would have fixed that. Yeah. Well, it's not like it's a problem, but I think it's a problem. Cool. Taking a look here. You do have power seats right here. Oh, oh man. We got to turn the inverter on. We'll come back to that in a second. Over here is your sofa. I love how there's cup holders here. And this does come out to make a bed. You have these nice shades right here. One for privacy, one for daytime. And right here, you have a nice televator. You know what else I've noticed about this RV bowl? What? Plugs. There is a ton of power outlets and USBs everywhere. Yeah. Very nice. You can never have enough power. Not only that, in these recliner seats, which should be on by now, they are. There's even a USB in the seat. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And then when you look up, there's even more power. This thing has a ton of power. Power reclining seats, flex steel furniture. Very, very nice. And it's crazy because it's all flex steel and it's it's an entry, not entry level, but a middle level. MSRP, you ready? $162,893 MSRP. But we all know we don't pay MSRP. And how do you find out the sale price, Will? Go on to mattsrvreviews.com. You got it. This dinette, it does drop down to make a bed. I love how there's cup holders here. Very nice. And is there storage underneath these? Yep. Oh, man, look at that. You got a little bit of storage right there. And you have storage on the other side as well. Hey, put the um, table down. Have you ever shown him how to do that? Because it's different in Integra's. Okay, well, I guess <laughs> if you want me to. Okay. So here's how you put the dinette down. Okay. So, like, try to get that little okay. angle right there. So you see that? You lift the table up, and then you pull it down. And this drops down, this stays there. There you go. And it makes the bed. And there's a cushion in here somewhere. There's a cushion that sits right there and makes the bed. Great, you got me sweating, Will. <laughs> right over here, you do have a fireplace. 
You do have storage right over here, a ton of storage. Solid surface countertop throughout the whole RV. A nice stainless steel single sink with residential features. Art Deco. Over here you have more cabinetry here. Sony DVD player. Hidden hinge cabinetry. Very nice. Again, for this price point, I'm impressed. You have your Furion oven, tiny oven, button oven, and a Furion three burner cooktop. Right over here, you have a microwave. Convection oven? Convection oven. Didn't look like it. And then this is what I absolutely love. Look at this huge residential refrigerator. This is beautiful and nice, and it even makes ice. I love this refrigerator. Now this has a 1800 watt inverter, uh, which you saw me turn on, which um, powered those seats. It also runs this refrigerator. And there's auto gen start. Over here in the bathroom, you have a nice porcelain toilet. Look at that leg space. Countertop here with a sink. And this bathroom is a nice 30 by 36 inch bathroom, shower glass door, plenty of space in here to be comfortable while taking a shower. Right over here, there are lights. Right over here, it is prepped for a combo washer dryer. I'm not a fan of those, but something's better than nothing. Over here in the bedroom, look at that, plenty of space. Little secret storage behind the television. King size bed. Emergency window right here. It's nice because it makes it feel airy and spacious. Here's the um, thing to make the table a bed. You have lights, they turn blue, and when you hold them down, they light up white. And then check this out. You have plenty of space on both sides for you to put a sleep at machine. Great. So that's the brand new 2020 Integra Coach Vision XL model 34G. It's now time for me to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you dislike. Okay. One, two, what was three? I don't remember three. We'll find out. So first and foremost, dislike. I do not like these slide out tray computer trays. I think they're horrible. Oh, I know another dislike. Follow me. Dislike number two is back here. Oh. Well, dislike number two, I'm gonna give you four dislikes. Uh, dislike number two is there's no power cord reel. I feel like whenever you're over $100,000, you should just put a power cord reel in it. But don't worry, if you buy from me, we'll put a power cord reel in. Dislike number three, I don't ha like how this is black. I wish they would have just painted this, kept this black, made this cream color or whatever, and just tried to blend it in more, right? Um, but not a huge deal. And then dislike number four, no ladder for the back. I just wish they would have done that. Now, for the three things I love about this motorhome. First and foremost, I love the roof. Has a fully walkable, one-piece fiberglass roof. Very, very nice, very high-end feature. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give you four things I like. Number two, I like the compartment storage. It's not that it's special, it's, it's not carpet like the emblem. I think carpet, is stupid in the pass-through storage. So that's number two. Number three and four are inside. Number three is this residential refrigerator, Whirlpool, dual doors, water filtration system, ice maker, all electric. This is a beautiful and great residential refrigerator. Integra Coach just has the best refrigerators in the industry. 
And then number four, see this? I didn't mention this. Nope, back up, back up. Back up. This sliding door for the bathroom, that is a feature that people don't talk about. And that's why I saved the best for last. The reason why is because when these slide outs are in, nothing's more annoying than having to open it. The door hits the fridge and dents it. And then you got to like suck in and like squeeze through. Pocket doors are king for trying to save space. Oh, and there's a pocket door for the bedroom area. But that's it. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Again, if you have three things you like about this motorhome or three things you don't like about this motorhome, make sure you leave that in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. And if you have any questions about this unit, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Sign up for my newsletter at mattsrvreviews.com. And if you want to see other units like this, I will have videos right there. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.